For this hackathon, I made a Halloween adventure. It includes a costume creator and trick-or-treating. Let's click run. As you can see, we have the home page. The text is enlarging and shrinking, and there is a pumpkin trail. It gets darker and the more it moves. Um, the pumpkin sprite is an easy sprite that uses a lot of clones. Every clone gets darker and darker until it stops moving. And now the text sprite. Um, the text sprite has really long repeat block. Why is that there? It is there because if you use a forever loop, this um, code over here would not work. And the, all the change size and then weight over and over is so it gets bigger and then smaller gradually. It's 10 size blocks counted out and counted out individually for the effect to make it look bigger and smaller. If you just put change size by 10, it would just go 10 regular and it wouldn't look like the effect. It also receives two broadcasts and broadcasts to important broadcasts. Um, gives off two important broadcasts. Now, if you press the custom creator button, the text pixelates and displays your character. You press the buttons on the right to change your character's appearance. To find the one you want, you have different hairs and hats. Go with different ones. Old fashioned ghost. And so, if this is the one you would want, you would press the save button. The code variable would change into your code um, at the top of the screen. When you press the trick or treat button here, you would enter in your number, the code. And then you would look at it and it would ask you for confirmation. If you put Y for yes and for no, then it would load the screen where the character speaks about their plan. After, um, After the character finishes their monologue, you get presented with four houses. There are different scenarios, some leading to a game over, some leading to entire 40 pieces of candy, which is the maximum. As you can see, after I got five pieces of candy from the purple house and 10 pieces of candy from the red house, I have 15 pieces of candy in the candy collected 
variable. Now I'm going to do the next one, the next house. And whenever you want, you can press the finish button if you don't feel like doing any more trick or treat. I'm going to say trick or treat here. So, the princess is going to give me three pieces of candy. So that means 18 pieces. So, then I get three pieces of candy from the princess. And then I'm going to go to the last house so I can show you how to. <laughs> Game over. The money dance, and you made an epic rap song. He, he made you pay all of your candy because you used his equipment. You have zero pieces of candy. Different things can happen, and you can leave with 40 pieces of candy or no candy. In this game, there are a lot of variables and broadcasts playing their part and making the game work. For example, there the entire time there's this one called look at houses with friends that's what shows the four houses to pop up without that without that variable none of the houses would pop up and you could not do the entire trick or treating part um as you can see there is another one that's called fish fading trick or treat you also saw in the text that movie uh, it broadcasts finish fading trick or treat that's what happens when you press the trick or treating button, it broadcasts start trick or treating. When the Halloween test receives start the trick or treating, it does the pixelating part and it broadcasts finish fading trick or treat. And pretty much all of these characters here pretty much receive finish fading trick or treat and do something and change it, either hide or show or go somewhere else because. The trick or treating part is very important. Like here, it's pretty much the entire dialogue part. And thank you for watching this video. Happy coding and happy Halloween.